Okay, gang, this is Turbo Tuesday, and I promised you yesterday we would have Josh back. And I'm going to do a real quick screen share of you. Josh, as if your background wasn't coveted enough by all of us, the sun pan he has, the beauty, I can hear the birds, Josh. I mean, you're. it's even hard for me to focus on work right now because of the lifestyle you're showing right there. But I want to, before we let Josh share with you guys, I want to make sure you guys know who Josh is, because we're on Turbo Tuesday. The fact that I could get in his schedule at all for the 55 plus to hear from him again is nothing short of a miracle. A, he could be playing right now out there on the beach, but he's taking time for you and I. And I just need you to know there's so many titles that Josh, on here it says, <laughs> Josh, your DDPY master trainer. But you guys, there's so many levels. He's the director of training and development so he's over all of us fast track coaches and the trainers that are out doing the classes, right? And he's over all of that. He's been a part of the whole Butterbean change, right? Dallas brings him in. Dallas sets up programs with a lot of amazing people. But when Dallas doesn't have time, who's his right hand man that then steps in, follows Dallas's lead and continues on with the client that happens to be Josh. He was a project manager over the PT program. You guys see him in the PT programs in the background of these things, right? But Josh is, his head and heart is in it. And all of us use that so much, Josh. I mean, there are so many, so many uh, titles that you carry within DDPY that I am in awe. But you know what I love most about you, Josh, is you care about the brand. And that's what I care about. You care about the fact uh, Dallas and see you, there's a vision there, right? And you don't try to make it Josh's vision. I just hope I can tell the story pure is my goal every single day when I do these. And I love the fact that you that's who you are. You're the most humble person. That's why I had to share some of these things. I bet there's more things I didn't, I even missed of what you do for this company. But I know Dallas considers you someone he can trust with every client that he's working with. And um, they should follow the Butterbean thing, but there's others that you had done as well in there. What, just name drop, just a few of the others that you have worked with in there. Sure, so, you know, Butterbean and I laugh all the time as to who's, Who's more famous here, Jake the Snake? Um, when I got the call to work with Jake, uh, you know, I understand that Jake's a great dude and knows my daughters very well, but I didn't really know that Jake liked me <laughs> until I got that call. Um, for context, both my daughters will call him Uncle Jake because they know him so well. Wow. Um, so yeah, there's Jake. I mean, I've worked out Ted DiBiase. I've worked out Rudy Rudiger. Uh, Teddy Swims uh, was around for a lot of my, um, you know, just coming up as an instructor. Anthony Ogogo was big. Darian Bankston was big. Um, certainly my son-in-law, big Cass. Uh, but that's just, a, it was a personal thing. But wow. for for Dallas, um, yeah, those, the, just off the top of my head, Bar Marcus Bagwell. Um, and yeah. there's others too, yeah. but yeah. you know, more, more so than anything, it's the, it's regular folks really that yeah. can you. make it through whatever, uh, genius of their own. If they make it to Dallas, um, to your point, you know, and he doesn't, he doesn't have the time. Um, he gives it to me. And then sometimes they come to us because they, as in people, whether they're noteworthy for something or not. Right. Um, doesn't really matter to us. Mm -hmm. When I first started working with Moonshine or Josh, that was not a Dallas thing. That came directly to me through Butterbean. And, you know, we were trying to align schedules because the Discovery Channel was going to shoot content. And I said, Dallas, I got it. Like, this is not for me to do. This is for you to do, right? Big time network TV or cable network television, right? And he was like, I can't do it. And I said, you need a clone. Right. And he kind of was like, yeah, there you go. That's why you exist. But, you know, everybody and I think and our company is so small. Thank you for saying such nice things. But, you know, Hayden does 
you know, a lot. He wears a lot of different hats. Pat wears a lot of different hats. Steve, God knows, you know, oh, we, we, yeah. you know, and everybody at the PC, those, those folks that are on the creative side aren't just editors and they're not just shooters. They're not just right. So um, I think by, by just the size of our company and, and the passion that lies within all of us that work for, for the company, that that's something that, um, you know, we just, you know, it's not a nine to five kind of thing. No. You know, so we, we, we embrace that kind of stuff and lean forward for sure. So I'm not the only one. Uh, but oh, I appreciate no, the nice, no, the no, nice no. words. Thank you. I am in awe. The heart. And I'm happy to, sp I'm happy to spend time with with the group, even though I'm not 55 yet. No, but it's very important for you guys to know. On June 15th, he officially becomes one of us. So that's part of what Josh. I know there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen around your birthday, but I'm telling you. Um, when we were on something the other day and you said that you were in the best shape of your life. And I thought, mm. I, I want the 55 plus to hear this specifically on turbo Tuesday. So this is about our fitness pillar is the main focus, but Josh, it clearly that's a part, that's your habit. That's who you are, right? You've developed habits. And are there any habits that you think are specific um, that you do even different, maybe at almost, 55 then you may be sure so so having i think a healthy sense of what's possible is a great start but also balancing that with you know this stuff takes time yeah. and to this community specifically 55 plus folks this is not a gender related comment either um facts are facts science is science metabolism is what it is as we grow older it we're, we're my stuff is not, and I'll speak just to me, but my body is not the same as it was 10, 20, 30 years ago. Um, is it still me? Yeah, God knows, because those injuries are still there, right? Yeah. Um, and I, I, yes, and it is true that one injury when you are 16 can stay with you for the rest of your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be an amputation or something severe, uh, but that, that can happen. Um, certainly happened to me. And so, you know, I think understanding that while having goals is what we're after, we want people to goal set, um, understanding that that does take time. And the older we get, we have to sort of measure our expectations. And I think folks get frustrated because they've got unrealistic expectations when they get into whether it's muscle building, you know, muscle strength building, flexibility, weight loss, whatever. Um, and that, so give yourself time. Um, yeah, I'm the best in the best shape of my life, but I have also been doing this for a while. Yeah. And if you're doing DDP yoga and forgive me if I've said this to this group before, but if you're doing DDP yoga two, maybe three times a week, once, twice or three times a week, mm -hmm. It's a hobby, right. right? And if you're not incorporating nutrition, it's a hobby. If you're not sort of, and I'm gonna again use the word self-aware of where you're at and, and feeding yourself the kind of positivity, motivation and determination and discipline that you need on a daily basis to make this through because you need all those things. And so I see people that are, and I love the streak community. I do. Um, but I, I rest. I don't sleep as well as I did when I was 45, but I rest and I eat right. And I think right when I can, everybody has stuff. Y'all heard me say that before, right? Yeah. Nobody's stuff is worse than anybody else's. Right, whatever you're carrying, yeah, you can let go. And I, this is very, very, very recent experience for me. I will not, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole for myself. Yeah, but to tell you that life, I understand for all of us, doesn't matter who you are, yeah, has a way. Sorry for the birds. No, has I'm a way of, of you know, I, I'll say this that sort of 
in my life, with my professional and personal life, the juxtaposition of the two over the last three months has not been great to look at. Um, things have been really, really difficult, but there's opportunity there. I hate to sound corny, but that's what it is because that's all I've got. Yeah, I could wallow in it and there's time for that. There's time for grief. There's time for all these things, right. but you've got to know that all things are possible. So habits that I build, self-awareness, balancing everything, knowing that all things are possible, still continuing to be a student despite the master. I mean, I'm honored and like, oh, it I means know. more to me than anybody will ever know. Yeah. Um, but all it means is that I still every day learn about my craft. I learn about being a teacher, being a coach. I learned something about the body. I learned something about yoga. I learned something about calisthenic work. I learned something about physical therapy. So I constantly, it's, I haven't reached a point where I think I'm right. I, I'm still learning and my body is still changing. Um, and Dallas has told me years ago that I, my body would go through changes along the way. Um, so all these things, you know, I, I kind of talk about mindset as the launch point for, for everything else, because if you don't have it, and I understand at our age, things can get to us, yeah. be it kids, whatever, yeah. life, job, retirement, yeah. spouse, whatever, man, yes. being lonely, what? I, I'm telling you, everybody's got it. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Live today. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Live today, right? Because too short, okay? Um, and also understand that if you've fallen off or if you're only doing it two or three days a week, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I believe in doing hard things. And yeah, I've paused workouts in the past when I was coming up, mm -hmm. but I did them. Yeah. I don't, while I understand plateaus, mm -hmm. um, they're there to be pushed through. There's a lot of different ways to do it. So, yeah. so on the on the physicality front, I I would say to folks that you know you've got to try things to know where you are, right? And it it yeah. I, I don't I don't care if it's the same workout I did Diamond Cutter 2.0 for three months straight twice a day when I first started. Oh my! And I did it. And I wasn't taking breaks and I would travel and I'd get home and I'd try to get it done by midnight. And, um, but it wasn't until I actually started resting that I got stronger. Right? And that's a tenant in fitness in general. Again, I think the streak, the, the folks that do this for 2000 days, that's great. And I'm sure that they're not, you know, there's a stretch workout in there as well. But um, if I'm to believe anything that I've ever read and learned about, what it is that we do, um, we've got to rest. We've got to change things up. We've got to, you know, I can find in my own development, you know, having said that I was, that I did diamond cutter 2.0, whatever it was, 93 straight times. Yeah. Um, my body also got used to that every day. Yeah. So we need to change things up. We need to do different workouts. We need to push ourselves. Yeah. Um, you don't have to be like me or Hayden Right. We're not we're not here to sort of say that you've got to do it this way. No. No. And if you're comfortable doing three days a week and you're happy where you're at, cool. Yeah. But if you if there's a part of you that wants to take it up a notch, well, that's why fast track is here. Yeah. Right. Oh. That's why one on one coaching is is so very, very, very important. Because philosophically we believe that you can get to where you want to be a little bit quicker. What is you know, what does it mean? Well, committing 100% to the nutrition, right? You give me 30 days, eating right, fruit, veg, protein. I promise you, you'll want 30 more days, right? Yeah. And if you do, if you push yourself with workouts, you will get more. You will get stronger for sure. Yeah. So it's a long-winded question to your answer about well, my habits. So those oh, are my yeah. habits. Consistency, discipline, nobody. mindset. You have no idea the nuggets that exist when your conversations go on. It's like, oh my word, hear that nugget? I mean, I grab stuff from you every time we talk, Josh. I, I treasure it. And I can't help but ask this question because in our 55 plus family, oh my word, we are your P, PT, physical ther therapy poster children. In here. I love it. 
And of course, Josh was the project manager over that and is very much engaged. So I did, I had a question just this, this morning early, Josh, that asked me um, what other things are coming. And I answered back, I think hips are are the next thing that they probably yeah. will be added, correct? Right. So uh, hip is done-ish. Um, so that will be laid down for video soon, um, within the next couple of months, I would say, wow. uh, by midsummer, it'll be laid down. Hopefully, um, you know, we, we chose these parts of the body to start our physical therapy efforts with based on data, right. Based on what do emergency rooms, chiropractors and such in the health profession, where, where do they see the numbers? And they're widely available, right? And so low back and shoulder, knee, right? And so these are all the things that make sense. Yeah. Um, and so I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not going to say that there's, you know, that we know beyond hip, um, but we, we certainly have an idea. I think upper thoracic, is probably next, right? Yeah. To incorporate uh, the spine, upper, neck, upper mm -hmm. thoracic, best way to put it for me. Um, but there are other things to do. You know, I mean, I, I think that there's value in our hands. Yeah. Right? What can we do to strengthen our hands? Oh, sure. I think there's value in, if anybody's seen me teach, um, I literally can walk on the top of my feet on a yoga mat. I cannot do that on the concrete that's next to me here. But I trained to go on my toes because Dallas talked about that so much. And my feet were wrecked from years of sports. And there is something to this. Um, the foot gets the least amount of blood flow of any bone in the body, of any group of bones in the body. And there are arguably some of the uh, most delicate bones in the body. And so if anybody's got foot problems, you know, um, doesn't get a lot of blood flow. So how do we, how do we get ourselves to a point that we, that we can, right, mm -hmm. for the foot? So that there, there are other body parts that we'll tackle, um, but I think it'll be based on, you know, the, the, the kind of protocols that we've been using so far and, and so far so good. Yeah. Because it's been, Incredible. you know, I, I see the, I don't often comment, but I do, I, I, I do see um, the statements that people are making online and, or someone will send it to me like, Hey, this was really cool. Or, you know, so I, I love that um, people are, are embracing PT. Uh, yeah. And, and don't just do PT, man. If you're feeling good enough, do a right. beginner workout. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. See where you're uh, at again. It's that tweak that you do before you can do a workout, right? So, but I, yeah, I don't know anybody that isn't at least using that where they need it and then also stepping into a workout that they even already love, right? So, so just curious, any chance that you've had a knee, uh, do you have a knee challenge that you overcome? Oh, sure. My knees are wrecked. I had ACL, MCL surgery on my right knee. And I, uh, I had an injured MCL in my left knee that was never repaired. So right knee repaired, left knee not repaired. Okay. I must tell you all. So I do the knee have ones, right? One, two, three, and four, right? In that rhythm. And I kid you not, Josh, I watch you. You always move the chair actually on the side, the exact spot I actually need it for a real knee injury. And I'm thinking, Josh puts it in a different spot. I wonder if he actually knows the reality of, because you do, Josh, where you move your chair is always the exact spot I have needed. So there you go, you guys. Josh is one of us, but he's overcome, right? You just overcome. Yeah, for sure. And I didn't think when I first started training with Dallas, you know, I didn't think that uh, I could do if you had told me then what I could do now, I'd be like, yeah, that's not possible. Right. But again, 
I started this whole chat off by sort of emphasizing to you folks that you, you do have to have a positive mindset and know what is possible. That really, if you put your mind to it, that you blow your own mind if you keep up with it, yeah. um, for sure. Well, when I ever talk you back on again on another time, you guys, which I don't know could be a long time, but when I do, Josh, I'm going to have you talk on a Mindset Monday because truly I know so much of your journey recently and you have been a powerful example of facing adversity after adversity and you still, you're like a duck on the water, right? You look smooth on top. Oh, yeah. Underneath your look. Never let them see a sweat, Pammy. <laughs> Um, but I'm so I, proud of you. You just you. always, every layer is like a peeling an onion layer is back. Every layer I see of you, Josh, I have more respect for you than the layer before. Oh, Pamela, so thank I, you. I love I, you. I am in awe and thank you for taking time out of what is clearly a beautiful day for you. Listen, I live on a little island. It's May <laughs> in Florida. So... <laughs> It's yes, people, like this is what it's supposed to be. <laughs> and um, listen, if there are any of you DDPY folks in the community that are in Florida and you want to come get some with me on the beach, um, hit me up for sure. I'm teaching publicly again. I'm going to use this as a little yes. marketing pitch here, Penny. Yeah, I, I, I'm so, so sorry I missed that because I wanted to share. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. On the beach. So I used to friends some <laughs> friends i don't know uh oh is that my phone or yours babe? no it's mine nope. it's so i used when, when i was first starting as an instructor um i was the yogi in residence for a bar believe it or not on the beach and i started with five six of my friends and it grew to a tribe of loyal folks that at our height we were doing close to 40 uh, these are free classes, donation-based, but who doesn't want to come do our stuff on the beach, right? And I bill it as free yoga on the beach because if I say to the internet world, hey, I'm DDPY instructor and I'm doing DDP yoga on the beach, people will be like, what What are you, what are you doing? So it's a bit of a bait and switch, um, but I do speak a little bit of yoga and um, that's the student part, right? And being able to break down what it is that we do to a new person. So um, I haven't taught publicly in Florida for a couple of years to group and uh because i've spent so much time in atlanta for the company yeah exactly. and with bean and you know that stuff again to what i started saying much earlier this stuff takes time the stuff that you see butterbean that 18 and a half minute video and please if you have not seen it take I'll some time and watch it whether you know I'll who butterbean is or isn't i'll attach that here but i'm also going to put a thing about your beach show because you had a thing up there that was saying where you were and yeah yeah, because marketing for me is not a yeah, but it's not you know, about marketing. If if anything, not a forte of mine. They're getting like the cream of the cream to be uh, a part of. So I'm gonna put that on here as well for them. Yeah, sure. It's on my Instagram and Facebook, uh, you know, location. But if you guys, if anybody wants more information, just direct message me. Those, these classes on the beach are free. I look at it as. Um, you know, it's a great opportunity to to put forward what it is that we do and make people feel good. And really, I'm just there not to screw it up because who doesn't want to do something physical on a beach, right? So uh, as long as I don't mess it up, we're good. Uh, no, I'm definitely going to promote that. I'll put those links and things all right here. But also the Butterbean uh, one that you were a part of, because that just still, it just blows my mind. So I'd say it took two years. Yeah. you know, to get him to where, to where he was at the end of that. Right. So this yeah. is not a quick and easy thing. Right. Friends. It, it, it takes time, but you know, Bean is a prime example of anything <laughs> is possible. Exactly. Lean that forward. Bent over. Oh my word. That whole do, do hard things, push yeah. yourselves within, within reason. I'm not saying I don't want anybody to be, you know, tapping out i don't know but you know, i can't tell you how many people i talked to that said oh i you know i didn't do that one or i'm ah, yeah, i don't know if i could do that and then they do it oh my god right look yeah. at you now look at what you can do yeah right yeah so 
you know, it's, it's always my pleasure. I'm here for, for you, Pammy, always. You know I love you, and I love what you're doing for the people. And they're, ex they're exploding. We flew past 1900 like they were standing still, and it's going well, on. That'll yeah. be a that'll be a mere memory soon because, it, you know, it's the old shampoo commercial, um, and they tell two friends, and they tell two friends, and then the screen is yeah. like a Zoom screen during COVID when people used to teach. Um, that's that's the thing with our company, right? So tell a friend. Yeah. Um, people don't want to get pushy with health and fitness, but uh, you see these transformations, and they are remarkable. That's and right. they're real, right? Yeah. We know them. Now with personally, the <laughs> so yeah. I'm here to tell you, and everything you see is real. It's not, you know, uh, there's no makeup involved. Exactly. For sure. So, so anytime, Pammy, if You're I can, awesome. if I can fit it in. I know there's a whole bunch of eyeballs that haven't seen you before are going to see you now, and I need you guys to understand who. Josh I'm sorry is. for the sunglasses. It's just really bright here. Oh. And I got a little beady eyes anyway, so. No, I was gonna say it's totally understandable. I feel like I'm gonna like who's this guy I think he is on the well I oh, know I wish I could get the suntan just off of you just on the interview. I feel like I'm well somebody's gotta do it, Pam. <laughs> somebody's gotta be here doing this. Exactly. And so that folks know I'm not doing this to rub it in. My oh. voice carries a bit. And in the house right now, someone else is trying to do work <laughs> and my voice kind of carries and I get emotional and I get excited and passionate about what it is that we do. So um, I figured right. I'd take a couple of calls outside where I cannot be heard. Well, so. I thank you beyond words, Josh, for doing this for the 55 plus. I'm telling you what. Always a pleasure. I'll put Always all a pleasure. Because I want them to figure out where you're at and what you're up to. And June 15th, I'll make sure everybody knows it. Listen. Your your birthday and if people if people want me to come teach somewhere let me know get a oh. big enough group together yeah flash the money around yeah who knows yeah I, get... <laughs> I, I, will, I will definitely put that in here as well because everyone needs to have you in their life you're a total example of who we are as a company here a pure exactly. source of the leadership of this team so love you time thank you Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody.